Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Dawn, and today we're gonna to talk about why men are going their own way. If you're new here, you probably clicked on this and you're looking at a woman talking about men's issues, wearing a Men Matter shirt going, okay, what do we have here? Well, welcome to my channel. So I wanna talk about why men, I think why men are going their own way from, in regards to feminism, me too, the empathy gap why women have, ne have contributed to the problem and have pushed men to this side of the world, the internet, this type of movement. Um, I also wanna share a personal story of how I would say I found myself in a, almost a female version of women going their own way when I was at a really dark time in my life. So without further ado, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like the video, thumbs up, and let's get started. So I don't think that anyone is denying that feminism and the Me Too movement have caused, I think if we were to do an autopsy, right? If we were to do a history autopsy as to what that movement really did. You know, unfortunately as a woman, I absolutely have been sexually harassed in the workplace. It was uncomfortable. It was my first job. I was 21 years old and it sucked. There was absolutely no ramifications or uh, punishment for the person that did it. And thus the Me Too movement was not a thing. It wasn't around at the time. Now, do I think that there's, it has swung to the opposite extreme? 100%. I've seen men who have done nothing. I've seen men that have placed a hand on a woman's back and have been called into HR. I've seen lies women have told. Men have lost their jobs because of it. So, right, the tensions are very high because now it's believe all women, hashtag. I mean, I can't believe that that hashtag even exists. Like there's a literally a hashtag that says believe all women when really we don't take into account women who have BPD or narcissistic personality disorder or any of those personality disorders that could contribute to a woman just flat out lying to ruin a man. So I really do think that we are in a very, very, very weird time when it comes to men and women. The tensions couldn't be higher. So men are really being forced, some of them, into this part of the world and this part of the internet where they're having to make some decisions. Uh, I can either put myself in the line of fire after a divorce I was taken advantage of. All these things happened. I gave my life to a woman and they're just basically checking out. But I don't necessarily think they're checking out on themselves because a lot of these men are getting their fitness in, in check. They're working. They are focused on their career. They're not dating anymore because it was terrible for them. So, so they're good. Like they're not necessarily missing women because they can either pay for it or they can get their needs met other ways, but they're missing kind of the, the drama that some women can bring. And I don't think that they're necessarily very sad about it. And I don't blame some of them. Society keeps reminding them that the future is female, um, that they are being, women are being pushed to attend STEM schools. They're, you know, I was given jobs over male counterparts because at one point, you know, as a female, I was considered a diversity and equity and inclusion person which okay right like we have even things out i was hired for a job that there were you know 50 men in the sales force and i was the number number two female so we again we did have to go through this time where things kind of even themselves out but it's almost as if now women are like reveling in the power of that and reveling in the fact that it's like there can't be equality it's now i have to put a man down i have to be better than a man um, in order to have power or in order to feel that this movement and feminism and all of this is is worth it it seemed to have gotten so hostile and women, I think some women have contributed to that. There was this Women's March video that people were slamming sticks and, you know, chanting. And it almost looked like a group of men. It, it looked like a parade of men just stomping around. And I guess that's, I mean, if you go back to the burning of the bras and the liberation of women, we accomplished those things. But now do I think that we need it? Now do I think that it's necessary? Now are men 
you know, kind of like going, what's going on? You know, okay, fine. If you don't need us, then good luck. Go ahead. Like be a plumber, be an electrician, be a lineman and go service the electrical lines outside. And good luck with that. <laughs> you know, I think, uh, and women, if that was the world that we lived in, we would be absolutely screwed. So some things need to happen to try and like get our men back. The divorce laws need to be changed. You know, we need to, the prenups to what people sign need to be upheld in court. Like there are some things that I think from a logical perspective, if any woman were to sit back and say, okay, what are the things that men are facing right now? And what are the reasons why they are potentially just taking themselves off of the market or not wanting to be around women at all? It's, I'm not gonna lie. like there's some things that I can understand and I can and I can empathize with. And that's what I mean about the empathy gap is that a lot of women have failed to, to realize that we can have empathy towards men while also supporting them, while also going to work and continuing, you know, fighting for, I won't say pay gap, because that's really not an issue, but whatever fight, I don't even know what feminisms are, feminists are fighting for anymore because I'm not a feminist. So I'm like, you do you ladies, keep fighting. But like, can we, what feminist groups are fighting for men as well? Like very few. Now, the part of the story though that I want to tell you from a personal standpoint when it comes to me and where I was at after going through a series of bad breakups and going through some of the hardest times that I'd ever gone through, just disappointment in men, one after the other. I have been hurt by quite a few men. And what happens are two different things. Now men, this is not meant to shame you, okay? So trust me when I say this, I am here, I am on your side, and I 100% understand where you are at. What I think happens though, is the same thing that happens to women. Women will go through pain, right? They will go through heartbreak and be incredibly disillusioned when it comes to men. I went through a period of about two years where I didn't even want to be in the same room with men besides my family or my brothers because they couldn't hurt me. There are other times when I was just devastated and I didn't know what it was. I just thought I'm done with men. I want nothing to do with them until I realized that I was picking the wrong men, that I was dating the wrong men, that I was putting myself in situations that were causing me pain and I was choosing men that were ultimately going to hurt me. I think that a lot of men find themselves in this space because they have been devastated by women and they have been hurt by the divorce court and they have woken up and been with these women who have personality disorders or who are narcissistic or who are just highly disturbed, who have cheated on them, who have caused them so much pain and they find themselves just absolutely desperate and absolutely just done 100%, like they just write it off. But you don't necessarily transcend and that's okay. If you don't want to, I have, no problem with that. There is nothing wrong with you. You absolutely have 100% agency to do whatever it is that you want. But at some point, there is self-reflection that has to happen. And for me, it was identifying, okay, these were the patterns. These were the traits that I was attracted to. These were some of the things that I would see in the early stages of a relationship with the men that I was dating. So what can I do moving forward to avoid these types of patterns, you know, right? When I started dating someone, it's like, what could I do to, when I started to see these things emerge? Because it was really me that didn't feel as though that I had power or self agency over myself to make better decisions. So what happens is that women will find themselves in these, you know, ultra feminist, ultra man hating places on TikTok, places on, on social media and other, places where they get validated, where they feel as though their pain, right, is justified. Like they're, all men are narcissists. All, I mean, literally, like that is where you go to the internet where you find these women who are saying all men are narcissists. And it's kind of funny, it's kind of a joke because I'm like, oh my God, I know where you were at, ladies. Like, let me, let me bring you to the other side because are there assholes and bitches? Yes. There are mean people everywhere, right? Like you're surrounded by that. But I think what happens is that you have so many bad experiences with the opposite sex and then you find yourself just 
so angry and so bitter and you may not be that that might not be the reason you might have just accepted that you know what i'm not going to play in the space with women i'm not going to have a romantic relationship with a woman it's not worth it the pain is negligible and i respect that but for me i wanted to have a relationship i wanted to heal myself and understand what i was attracting into my life and what was happening within my family structure, what I grew up with, my parents, how that impacted me and my relationship with women and what I thought about my relationship with men, sorry, Freudian slip. <laughs> what I wanted to understand what was happening at a very deep level from a psychological standpoint. And now men are amazing. I have 100% healed my relationships with them and they are some of the best people that I know. So I understand, you know, this movement and I hope that there are more women that begin to come forward, that are more women like myself, that are more women that try to show femininity, that try to show men that there are women out there that do care, that we do need you, that we do appreciate you for all that you do with our society. And um, I understand that Western women What's happening here is causing a lot of pain for a lot of men, but there are women that do care and there are women that do absolutely want you to know that a lot of us don't want you to go your own way. A lot of us don't want you to succumb to not being there for women because I know that every time I'm walking down the street or every time I'm walking down the stairs, I put my hand out because I want a man leading me down the stairs. And I think that as women, we have an obligation and a responsibility to show men that they are needed because I think that if we showed them that, that we would have potentially less of men going their own way. So whatever your reasons, I respect. I understand that we have a lot of work to do as a society to heal some of the wounds that even as women that we have created. But I think that we do have the capacity for that. And I understand why the movement exists, but I also understand that with deep self-reflection, with the ability to understand potentially why you got into relationships with women that weren't necessarily very healthy for you, which I'm happy to help you with. A lot of men come to me from, from retired from Red Pill or from MGTOW to get coaching and understand, okay, why did I attract this type of woman? Why did I find myself in these relationships with these types of women? And the red flags were always there. You just didn't know necessarily what to look for. Or go your own way and there's no problems. I understand, but if you want, a different alternative, go ahead and click the link, book a call, take my course, understand that you do have agency, you do have power, and you can push through this and get out of this if you wanted to. So thank you for watching. Ladies, I think it's time for us to have some empathy. It's time for us to understand why men are feeling this way, because there is nothing more healing than femininity. There's nothing more healing than the touch of a woman to bring ben, men back to us, to society, to make them feel empowered, to give them purpose again. So thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of content, if you've made it this far, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one.